Your winter wardrobe does not need to be boring. Hi, it's Pam. Welcome back to my channel where I post weekly videos about life, glowing up, outfits, and everything in between. So be sure to like and subscribe if you want to come along this journey. So this week, I am going to show you how to build a timeless winter capsule wardrobe, which will make you look and feel your best all throughout the season. I'm going to show you different options per part, but you only need 14 pieces to make this work. Part one is the base. If no one's ever told you the secret to a good winter fit is a thermal base. So I have here my Uniqlo heat tag and I live and swear by these because I have been using these for five years even when we had a negative 30 winter. There's probably other bases that you can find but I'm pretty happy with these so I've never looked for anything else. What I have are the heat tag crew neck tops in different colors but over the years they have expanded the collection to turtleneck tops and brighter colors. I like these tops because they're soft and light on the skin so you won't really feel like you have layers on and then of course we have the leggings which come in three different types there's the heat tech leggings extra warm and ultra warm for the coldest days i don't go out without wearing this anymore because any type of bottom you use will eventually feel cold on the skin but these leggings will keep your legs warm so now you know the secret to not being cold while still wearing good outfits part two the layering pieces so here we have a very essential piece in any winter wardrobe the turtleneck tops. I have here a thin one, a ribbed turtleneck, a cotton one, and a knit. If you want it to be tighter, I recommend getting it as a bodysuit, but if you're planning to layer it with a base, the regular fit will be good. Honestly, I don't think you can go wrong with styling these. It's one of the most versatile pieces, so you can either style it up or down, and you can look so chic, and you can look casual, you can look preppy, you can do so much with these tops. The next piece we have is a basic tee or a basic long sleeves, whichever you prefer. So I personally wear these as a layering piece with like a sweater or a cardigan on the days that aren't as cold and when I know I'm going to be inside a lot because when you take your jacket off, you wouldn't want to feel as hot as when you wear a thermal base. Moving on to the next layering piece, the button down. So I have here three different types, regular, loose, and oversized. You can layer these over a tee or turtleneck, or even under a sweater, a vest, or a blazer. Every closet needs this piece as it's an easy way to make you look more polished, especially when you want that chic, effortless look. Part 3. The Chunky Knits There's a lot of different types and styles of this as you can see, and these are just some of my favorite pieces, but I think having just one really good one will already make your winter closet better. Two things to take note of are the pilling and the feel of the fabric. You wouldn't want to get a sweater that's rough or scratchy. You want to get something that's smooth and buttery on the skin. And if you're wearing pieces underneath, you would want to get a looser fit to still be able to move around and be comfortable. These are especially great if you're going to be outdoors the entire day or if you just want to be cozy. So if you want to invest in a really good sweater, I would choose merino wool, alpaca wool, or cashmere. And then we have Taylor Swift's favorite product, the cardigan. Unlike sweaters, you can just slip this on and off if you're planning of being indoors anyway, or you can drape them over your shoulder. I just love how a cardigan can elevate a simple outfit. It's one of those everyday layering pieces that you can keep on wearing year round. Part 4, the bottoms. I believe there's only three essential bottoms you need for a winter wardrobe. Blue jeans, black jeans, and thick trousers. So I just wanted to show you guys my most favorite pair of jeans. They have these cute pockets in the front. This is definitely on the trendier side. So you can also just go with a pair of basic jeans that are just more comfortable. I don't recommend wearing skinny jeans, especially in the winter, because the fabric of jeans easily gets cold and it will stick to your skin. And if you want to wear trousers this winter, I would recommend getting the thicker one or with the coating inside. Part 5, and you cannot survive winter without these, the winter jacket. First we have the long coat. I have a polyester one that is surprisingly warm. I also have a red one which is so fun when you want that pop of color. And then this is a wool one which is on the heavier side but it is actually made for winter. I like having a long coat in my wardrobe for when I'm feeling a bit more classier and elegant. Obviously these come in different patterns and colors, but if you just want one for your wardrobe, I would get the plain one. What I love about it is that you can literally style it with anything and it will work. Next we have the puffers. There is no way you're gonna freeze if you're wearing one of these. We have a short, a midi, and a long puffer. A lot of people don't like having puffers because they can make you look and feel like a giant marshmallow, but I do think that they are essential. We all know and love the super puff. This was one of my first winter jackets and this has not failed me. 
especially for the days with extreme weather, no matter how many layers you have, a long coat just won't work. Contrary to whatever other people are saying, you can have a stylish puffer, and this is one of my favorite ones. This one has a belt on the waist, which not only makes you look cuter, but it will also stop the air from going in. And the back has a Sherpa lining, which I love. And then if you're just extremely cold that day, you can always just go for a long puffer. Part six, the set. I'm adding this as an essential to your winter wardrobe because everybody loves a good lounge set. This is perfect for all those days that you just don't want to think about what to wear. You can wear it in the house, you can wear it outside, you can dress them up, dress them down, you can do anything with them. Plus, you can also style them as individual pieces or together. Every time I don't know what to wear, I just reach for my favorite lounge set. I wear this with a thermal base and I'm good to go. Part 7, the shoes. I think for this season, you only really need two pairs of shoes, which are winter boots and sneakers. I truly hate it when my feet are so cold, so having good quality winter boots is a must. So I'm going to show you two of my favorite ones to wear. So these are my favorite pair of winter boots. It's from Columbia. It's the Maritza Shield Omni Heat Boot. So it has a thermal reflective lining that retains heat and it's also lightweight and waterproof. Next up are the sneakers and this might just be my favorite pair to wear ever. These are the New Balance 990 version 6. I know some people say New Balances are for grandpas but they're just so soft, so comfy. My feet never hurt when I wear these. The only thing is that the top is mesh so it's not really good for snow or any snowy days but for warmer winter days where I just need a good pair of sneakers I usually just grab this one. These are actually a staple in my closet through every season. And then this one is just a special mention because I also love it. My UGG Ultra mini platforms in grey. I also have this in brown but aren't these so cute for the winter? It's a felt top and I love this white lining here. It reminds me of a cozy sweater. These ones I would never ever wear if there's snow on the ground or if it's snowing because it will just get ruined. But any other day, this is perfect. So those are the items I think you need to make the perfect winter wardrobe that will last you throughout the season. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe and also tell me in the comments which videos you would like to see next, certain topics that you would like me to discuss. It's Pam and I will see you next week.